Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So I took down the old the item elevator and I need to go put in the new one and um yeah, uh, since nothing's nothing's getting moved out of the hoppers up here, things are getting backed up. So I've got stuff laying all over the place, uh, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. Uh, one thing I did, the last uh, 16 blocks over here, so up to about here, something about like this, it's about a quarter of the farm. The hoppers all come up to here instead of going uh, flowing up into this line and then that feeding everything you come up here and then this line is separate it's parallel and it goes up here and goes into the uh the the dropper where all this stuff is going to get boosted up into the item elevator so let's go take a look at that real quick um it's a little difficult to tell but this hopper in line here is that closest hopper line turns here and and pushes into the uh the dropper from there and then uh and then the other one comes from the this quarter of the farm and goes up through this hopper into here so this dropper is being fed with two different uh, hopper lines so it fills up more quickly and as soon as i place a block here um it will start the clock and start pushing stuff up the elevator but i'm not ready for that to happen just yet so let's go up over here and show you what i'm doing and i wanted to do part of this on camera so this is the the hopper chain that goes along on top of the sorter boop the hopper chain that came from the item elevator over there it tore out i need to put I don't know how many slobs. I need to put a couple slobs in there. So this is the basis of everything. And then the new system needs to go on top. And then this chain goes over to the disposal where stuff, the overflow gets dumped into lava. Um, so why is there an obsidian block there? I do not know. Interesting. Anyway, <laughs> neither here nor there. So I need to do a few things. Uh, the first of which is I need to put the minecarts on and I wanted to show something with that because it's uh, a little, um, I mean, it's not, not super complicated or anything, but if I put blocks along here, uh, come on and I will need to get out okay so the sorting system this is the overflow point so the the hopper minecarts need to come out to here and i have a, uh, a crafting table in my pocket and i have some iron so one thing i want to do is i want these hopper minecarts to sit here but i i want the rails that they're sitting on to be pointing this way and the easiest way I've found to do that is to place one there first. Uh, powered rails I'm using because they don't curve. And if you place them in like this, and then I can remove, oops, and then I can remove all of these and the blocks that they're sitting on, and these rails will still continue to point in this direction. And that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. One more. Very good. Now, um, I, I I need I need to empty some stuff out of my pocket. Oh, I know what we can do. Uh, I have I have some stuff I picked up from the f collection floor there. I can just throw it into here, and it will go through this order. That'll work. Cool. So now, um, and I have hop. Okay, give me a moment, please. Okay, did some inventory management, um, and I have, I have, there we go, stuff to make hopper minecarts. 
Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, so this is... Oops. I don't know why that's not a shapeless... Uh, shapeless crafting recipe. So now I can place the hopper minecarts boop right there. And then I can take this and that. Boop. And actually I can go take down this whole line. And those powered rails will remain where they are. Very nice. And I can go and place the rest. Right? And I can place them side by side. And they should not, whoops, they should not move. And I can place them just along like that. And then I need to place above them my packed ice that is going to become the water channel. And I should, I think, be able to place these under, no, 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 minecart with hopper. I place this underneath the packed ice so I can put the ice in first. So anyway, that's that. And then I'll then I'll have to climb up here and dig out a little space above because I have to put in I have to have enough space to walk around up there and put in the uh the water and make sure I have uh I have to have sides. So I'm gonna have to dig up two or three blocks from there. So let me do some of that and come back and show you what that looks like. So here's the path that my water is going to take, more or less. Remember, one thing we have to do here is make a small adjustment. Take this out. Boop. And uh, let's see. I'm going to need to dig out a little. Ow! I have to dig out a little uh, extra space. Pick up some of my blocks. And make my little uh, water S curve. So, remember it goes like this, and then this becomes, I don't need the ice there. I can put, I can, that can be glass, right, remember? And then the ice can go here, like that. Boop, 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 boop. Now I wanna put in a little extra space here to make it all consistent, because I, It'll bug me if it isn't. There we go. And grab the... And I can clean up the below, right? So the water's gonna come up here. Like this. Like this. And go around this curve. And go whoop, And then down that way. So let me get the walls in here. Remember, I determined that it didn't matter if the walls were stone or glass or ice. It just did not matter in terms of the items getting stuck in the walls. I even tried building it with the walls being double thick so that there wasn't room for the items to glitch out and fall on the ground. And the only impact that seemed to have was that the uh, the items just stuck around longer and and eventually despawned when they got stuck. Cool. All right, and then I got room up here now. Excellent. So let's go start laying out the water path as it will flow through. So I have some regular ice here, which I will use. Nope, not there. Right here. And so I put regular ice down there and break it. Now the water flows around. Nice. And I come up here and I have I have uh, wooden trap doors. And so I can place a trap door here, boop, to prevent the water here from flowing backwards. So it doesn't have to stop this water. Boop. And it flows down. And I really hope that they do not make the changes to the water physics in 1.14 that they kind of suggested that they were going to that will just make everything not work okay so here um, yeah so I'm gonna put in a wooden trap door here I guess 
and then put more water in here. Break. And the water goes around. And put in another trap door here. And break. Ah, perfect. So it makes it all the way around. So we are now actually set up. I could turn on the sorting system. I could turn on the item elevator. And let's do that and just test it. I even have a little ladder here to get down there without getting hurt. Although I still got hurt. All right, as I said, all I have to do is put a block in here and uh, I'll use stone brick for now. There we go. Up the item, and why are you not going anywhere? Huh. I bet this is a spigot thing. <laughs> It's uh, the items are clumping up down there before they come along. Probably not a problem. Uh, I put some granite in in place of some. That's right. I can't even peek in this because I put the the items. I put the glass there. Let's go see if my granite made it through. Granite should end up in here. Oh, I've got a bunch of granite. Okay. okay, let's choose something that I don't otherwise have. Let's throw some torches. Oh, interesting. Okay, so singular items are going up. Okay. Um, it's just when items, there's more than one of them being dispensed or dropped, they end up... Oh, those torches it might get stuck in the sorting system. Okay. I'm not as worried. Oops. Now. Uh, so I think they are going through. I will have to do some cleanup here, but um, I think that's working. And I think I've seen 57. Let's go make sure that they're getting picked up. Okay, so stuff's bunching up at the bottom of the item elevator. It's coming up in full stacks. Not awesome, but I guess it works. Um, and then they come along here and they get picked up by the hopper minecarts right along here. And if they, if this one, if this hopper minecart is completely full, it'll pass along to the next one and then so on. And then it should be going down into the sorter. Cool. Well, I have more work to do here. But I think that basically is it. This is working. Just the atoms are being clumped up, which is not sure if I like that or not, but we'll figure it out. Cool. Um, and then anything that, that manages to make it all the way down here will end up flowing down into the overflow line. And actually, I think it'll go into the overflow chest before it goes into the overflow line. But let's let's uh, let's make sure that that's the case. So if I put something down in here, let's put um, let's put a hopper in here. It goes away. Oops. 
and then go check out the overflow chest. And there's my hopper. Okay, excellent. Working as expected. Oh, look at this. I bet we had a little slime. Release a minecart, like it was trying to escape. All right, so these extra items should eventually get picked up and filtered out. Um, I'll need to make sure. Now, as I said, I'm doing like the, the left, like this quarter of the farm is going into one hopper line here. The other three quarters are going into the other hopper line. That's not how it is intended to be long term. So I have all this space over here, and what I intend to do, oh, hello, uh, is build another elevator here. And so each half of the farm will go to one of the two item elevators. That half goes to that one, this half over here goes to this one, and then this will go in a, uh, a water stream that'll go up above here. I have to make sure that I do it high enough to get above that roof line in there. And then the plan is that it will, sorry, it's like amazing here. I have to remember how to get around that it will come along here. And at some point right around here, maybe it will basically get dropped down through a tube and drop into the stream here to go through the same sorter. So I'll basically tie the two uh, sides together. The two elevators will feed the same sorter. Cool. Oh, how far down is that making it? Oh, are these three hopper minecarts already filled? Okay, so I intend to pop up the sides here one more um, and put a cover over this. Just, I don't know, it's not strictly necessary, but I just want to, well, I want to avoid that happening when I'm standing too close. So I want to put a cover over it, make sure stuff doesn't hop out the sides. And then, um, and then I want to put uh, slabs underneath all the ice there so that we don't get the water drips because that's kind of annoying and then I need to check and see how we're doing on on stuff flowing through yeah see stuff flowing more quickly because this clock is a lot faster good anyway um, still work to do here but I think this I think this works out and I think this should work out just fine. So that's that's how that's going. I wanted to do this on camera, so I was kind of waiting to go through it. And it should eliminate all this stuff. Once I get, you know, half the farm, this half of the farm, all of this will just go through that item elevator. I'm repeating myself now, but then this half of the farm will go through this item elevator, which I've yet to build. And then I need to reroute these hoppers so it feeds two chains into the item elevator over there. And that should make everything so much more efficient and then this stuff won't pile up and sit on the floor. Oh, well, this is an interesting indication because it tells me how far back the hoppers are, are backed up. And they got backed up because I've had the item elevator uh, disabled or removed uh, for for a while while I work out the logistics of where all this stuff needs to go. And it was waiting to build that elevator and stream and activate it on uh, on camera here. So, oh, I've got too much stuff in my pockets. All right, so that's uh, that's that. There we go. Going to make this going to make this work a lot better. And I think it would be pretty awesome. And I want all the stuff. Wait, 57. Need to make sure that this is actually getting into the sort. Okay, so, okay. You don't need to wait on me for that. There we go. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. All right, bye.